it's too easy from people to like talk shit on you and like whatever they do because they from a big city they have the skate shop right there they have a sidewalk and you're able to skate flat ground i didn't have that skate park was, I mean, skate park. It was maybe a shitty ledge and a shitty quarter pipe. That used to be the flat bar, and the bar used to be here. Quarter was right here, and the ledge was right here. And the ground was as shitty as that. Eventually, my dad understood that, and my mom too, they understood that my that skateboarding was like important for me at that point. I just wanted to skate. And then they found out that there was an indoor skate park in Osegore, in that surf town. C'était bien beau. Euh, Vincent, donc il était plus jeune à l'époque. Euh, C'est un enfant, donc il était skaté. Pas, il n'était pas exactement dans la même dynamique que les autres au tout début. Et après, rapidement, euh, rapidement il s'est mis à, à prendre sa place. Je veux dire, c'est une bonne chose sur Vincent, parce qu'il était vraiment focus sur le skating, ne pas donner un seul shit sur tout autre chose. Il pouvait wear like the blue board shorts with the purple t-shirt and the pink helmet, the famous one, and he wouldn't care at all. Well, the thing is, is when we were when we were kids, obviously there wasn't prize money or anything at contests, and we would win stuff. So we would win t-shirts, shoes, trousers, shorts, and most of the time, we would wear it, and it would be like XL t-shirts. So we would be like, I know, 10 years old and we'd have XL t-shirts like to below your knee and you'd think we'd look really sick, but it was actually like really bad. From that crew, we get sponsor, all sponsor from Buzz Skate Shop that I still skate for. We took some of those and we put like a metal piece on top of that. And then eventually my brother will make some ramps, kind of like a bump or mini quarter pipe or something. Vince Mill! <laughs> oh shit. I had my board in the back. Here was my school bag. My clothes, because I had to go from my dad's to my mom's. I had some clothes here. My skateboard, my skate stuff there, and here was my, I had my surfboard on the back right here, and I was just like, and it was so slow, and it will take me literally an hour to go to my mom. <laughs> Started to skate on that.
I think sounds good. Yeah, a bit of a Bordeaux Rouge underneath here. I guess I took the skate team over in Europe uh, in around 2015. We had this young French kid who was just every spot, trying to skate it, trying to do the, the naughtiest trick. And I remember the TM at the time, uh, Steve Black was like, who the fuck is this kid? Why the fuck is he here? <laughs> out there, no? he's, he's able to go to contest, do well at contest, but on the other hand, he's gonna release two, three video parts a year. Uh, this is what made who I am, and if you like it, it's cool, if you don't, I don't care. Tout le temps ici. Welcome to Tolos. It's raining every day. 